Singapore's multi-ministry task force for COVID-19 says it's very concerned about hidden or cryptic cases in the community. Task Force co-chair Lawrence Wong says that it's monitoring the situation carefully and considering the next steps. His comments come after more than two dozen new infections were uncovered at Minesville at Napiri. That's a home for adults with intellectual disability. Nisha Rahim with this report. A cluster of 27 cases have been discovered here at Minesville at Napiri. Now, four of them are mine staff, but 23 are residents. Among them, the first case detected. The 37-year-old female resident developed a cough and runny nose on May 29 and a fever the next day. Now, the home serves about 112 residents. All residents have not been on outings or returned to their own home since May 7. The home has also stopped all admissions and the discharging of residents and prohibited all visitors. The remaining residents and staff have been placed on quarantine. This includes close contacts like daycare clients, vendors and visitors. All will be tested regularly. Mine says it has put stricter safe distancing measures in place in the facility since Singapore went into a state of heightened alert last month. Visitors were reduced to just two per patient and staff caring for residents in isolation rooms have to wear full personal protective equipment. These measures are also implemented in other nursing homes like Tai Hua Kwan. At least half of their staff work from home and a maximum of 43 visitors are allowed in each day. I think with uh, the rise of uh, cases in the community, especially in the institutions, um, we, we, we are a lot more mindful um, and uh, we do uh, reiterate that um, we have to minimise direct human contact. But it's hard for them to get their intellectually disabled residents to understand and stick to the Titan measures like split teams. It becomes more challenging or difficult uh, for us to do what we need to do uh, to make sure that the, uh, the mood of uh, the residents, uh, especially those with uh, mental disability, uh, to be uh, nicely balanced so that they, they don't get too upset. And um, uh, that would end up actually with uh, some behavioural problems uh, on the ground uh, for which the, the staff have to cope with. One expert says the communal sharing of facilities also means such places that care for the elderly or those with disability have always been at risk of higher transmission. Isolating individuals or the residents into single bedded facilities with their own bathrooms and toilets because I think it is those facilities, care facilities are just not design for that purpose. But we minimise cross-cohort interactions or cross-zone interactions between the staff and the residents. We step up disinfection and cleaning routines. And the routine testing of staff and residents in care facilities actually will be useful. He says testing will help to identify cases in such facilities more easily.